Hello friends, welcome on in for another LEGO Masters interview. So excited to have had Corey and Travis, the brothers who brick, on the stream earlier this week. They were so, so much fun to talk to. Let's dive on in and hear about their amazing journey on the show. Guys, we've got Travis on the top, Corey on the bottom, two of the amazing LEGO Masters competitors. We're just excited to hear about your overall journey, how it's impacted you guys. We already were chatting a little bit about kind of how much of an impact just being on the show has had. And I'm so excited to be able to share that with everybody here today. Good started, guys. Uh, if you can do your own little intros for yourself, just give us the general spiel about each of you. Love to just hear a little bit about yourselves. So feel free to fight over who goes first and just tell us a little bit about yourselves. <laughs> I'm a, I'll let Corey take the floor on this one first. <laughs> well, I'm going to need you for this. So I'm Corey. And I'm Travis. And we're the brothers who break from Jersey. Boom. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, so, so like, give us a little bit about, um, you know, how long have you guys been building with Lego? Just a little bit more of your general background, maybe what you do. Just a little bit of insight into, into you guys and who you are. All right, so uh, again, I'm Corey. Uh, I'm the older brother. Uh, sometimes I get mistaken for the younger brother, so that makes me feel a little. Uh, let's yeah. not put that, all right? <laughs> but uh, basically, uh, you know, I've uh, been building with Lego ever since I was a kid. Uh, some of my first Lego sets that I remember uh, Cyprus, um, Entron, uh, some, of the, some of those older sets, those were my first introduction to Lego. Um, once my brother came along, you know, I, I just kind of expanded that love to Lego onto him. Um, and ever since then, you know, I just kind of stayed in Lego. I had my dark age for a little bit uh, where I wasn't building with Lego as much. And then I started making Lego a business for myself, uh, yeah. which you see here, these boutonnieres or, or bregos as we call them. Yeah. Uh, brooches and Lego together makes a brego. So uh, I started doing that uh, about two and a half years ago, uh, almost three years ago. Um, I just kept going, kept designing, and then getting into the, the build and the mocks and everything like that. And then um, I, I became a Lego engineering teacher as well. Boom. So, uh, Talk yeah, about how awesome uh, that I, is. Just bringing the passion, bringing your own business yeah, out of it, yeah. and then bringing it to your work too. I love it. Yeah. Didn't so it I'm, everywhere. I'm all about Lego. Yeah. Travis, what about, what about yourself? What about yourself? All right. Well, I'm Travis. I'm the younger brother. Uh, off the, I'm I'm starting to get mistaken as an older brother, which is great with me. I don't, I'm okay You're with that. That one, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but um, you know, like my brother said, I when I came along into the picture, he shared his love for Lego with me. Um, we used that to build. He taught me how to build. Well, we 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 creatively build our different mocks, transformers, and what have you. I went through my dark age, as they call it, where I wasn't building Lego. The only Lego building I was doing for the most part was. Uh, I work with kids. I'm a preschool teacher, so yeah. we would build with Lego. We'd build, you know, whether it be towers, whether I would show them the same transformers I used to build and everything yeah. like that. And so, um, my when the I guess the show reached out to my brother, he reached out to me and was like, "Hey, you know, let's be kids again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's let's build, compete, let's go out there and win." And, and I couldn't say no. <laughs> so, you Hard know, especially on that one. one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't say no to it. So. Um, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. And that's how it got started with you guys. I love it. I love it. And if yeah. you guys always kind of like shared that passion for Lego building, has that something you guys have done together a lot when you were growing up? Were you guys more of like, you stay away, you have your Lego, I have my Lego, keep that yeah, all separate? No. Or We never fought over Lego or anything like okay. that. My brother and I don't fight over much things in life anyway. But Lego is one of the things, I mean, in the name Lego, it's play well. So yeah. that'd be kind of <laughs> ironic to be fighting over pieces and everything sure, like that. For sure. Yeah. That was one thing. Me and my brother, we never used to fight over over Lego. Yeah. We had uh, an abundance amount, um, and whatever we built, we shared amongst each other. So if yeah. I wanted to break down something, um, usually my brother, if it's not one of his creations, then I, I'm free to break it yeah. down in front of others. The only person we fought against was our mother, because she would always try to throw them out. So <laughs> Always trying to get in the way, <laughs> take, <laughs> take away the things we love? The heck, <laughs> Exactly. <moms. laughs> yeah. Stepping on them. It was, it was our fault. We would step on them, and, you know. Yeah, yeah, if you're scarred. moving around in bad places, you can definitely make an enemy. You can definitely make enemies that way. No doubt about it. Well, fantastic. Um, and was it from a very young child, like very young age, that you guys had started building? Did you get into like a little bit later? Like, when did you first remember start building with those lovely little bricks? 
Well, for me, I, I started building when I was around six years old. Six years uh, old? It's that very was when nice. I got my yeah. first assorted uh, box of Lego. And to share a quick story, Do it uh, up. my old preschool used to have Lego. And um, I, I was a little crafty kid. So I would build something and then somehow we would make it home. Now, how would it do that? I home, wonder. I have no idea. No All idea. I yeah. in class and it ended up in my bedroom. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Lego has a way of just, you know, appearing in places sometimes. So what are you going to do? Well, you know, you can't stop it. You can't stop it, right? Yeah. So that's just how it goes. And, it, and it's funny because he would often commission me to be a part of the scheme. <laughs> so <laughs> just to prove a point, I literally pulled these out of my pocket just now. So like, who even knows how those got there, right? Like, just <laughs> no idea. No idea. Love it, love it, love it. That's fantastic. Um, do you guys have some favorite Lego sets or themes from growing up or even maybe now? Uh, well, what are some of the things that you guys were always drawn to when it came to Lego building? Uh, for, well, for me, it was more the, uh, the Mtron, uh, the space sets. Mtron those and the, space the, sets. The that, nice. Yeah. That, that gravitated me. Um, after that, we really didn't, we really didn't get into much sets okay. uh, uh, together. We was more assorted uh, bricks, uh, different colors, different yeah. design, like just different mocks that we were able to just come up with. Yeah. And like, uh, we were big on the, you know, the kid like things like Power Rangers, Pokemon or yeah. what have you. So we build and mimic those characters. But for na like now, my favorite sets are the creator sets. Yes. I just like how they taken something from like, I mean, everything is taken from life you can build at a Lego, but I like how they have directions to it. I like how it's something you would never really think to build at a Lego. Yeah. So I really do like the creative sets. No, I'm a big fan of those sets too, because especially I always recommend them for people who are like, oh, I want to build like cars. I'm like, great, buy a creator set, learn how to build multiple cars, and then use yeah. those pieces to build your own cars because it's a great set of pieces to get creative with. So one of yeah, my favorite, exactly. one of my favorite themes too for exactly that thing. Um, do you guys have any favorite themes now? Um, come on, like, Corey, look behind you. Are you telling me you don't have any Marvel sets around? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you got to have some Marvel, oh, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, my, my favorite, my favorite, uh, my favorites are, are definitely the, the Speed Champions. Speed Champions? Are you digging the 8 uh, wide uh, over the 6 wide? Like, how are we feeling about that? So, you know oh, they changed the width like, of the cars with speed yeah, changes. Yeah, they, they changed the width of the car. I, I'm okay with that. You're okay with it? Yeah, I think it's great too. I think it, it gives it more detail. It gives it much much girth. You know, yeah. like uh, just looking at it, it just mm. it just feels like it just feels way. Feels solid. Yeah. Feels solid. Yeah, yeah. they really do. They yeah, really actually, do. yeah, I bought the Ferrari. Oh, the, the Ferrari one, one, yeah. Yeah, and the kid, I bought it to my job where the kids were. They kind of destroyed it <laughs> to a degree, the, but they loved it. You yeah. Know? <laughs> That's awesome to hear. That's awesome. I know some people in the chat have loved the Speed Champs. I've actually done some of the recent ones as well. I did the uh, the Jaguar set with the two Jaguars in there. So that one was really, really exciting. Oh, man. he's Okay, he's got a couple of those ones around. Just a few. Yeah, that's, Just a that's few. Fine. What a nice little garage setup. I'm digging it. Carla, I'm digging it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still got to build like the rest of them. That's just sitting in boxes right now. It's too, like, sometimes you can cool. have a little too much Lego. Like, exactly. and that, like you just can't get through building it all. It's not that you don't like having it. It's just that you don't like that you don't have enough time for it, right? That's all. Sure. Yeah. And then where do you put it all? You know? Yeah, space yeah. is definitely an issue too. Space is definitely an issue too. So totally feel that. Um, all right, and then guys, like, what are some of your all-time favorite creations of your own? What are those mocks that like you you always like when you think back about the stuff that you built? You're like, man, I really loved building X, Y, Z. What are those things for you? So uh, me, I'm, I'm as you guys can see, I'm a huge Marvel fan. Uh, I love Marvel. I have two Infinity Gauntlets. I have uh, the one that Thanos wield, and I have the one that Iron Man wield. Um, I have them right downstairs. I would run and get them, but uh, I don't want to take. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that I'm linking all the socials, and we'll have that put showing yeah, up in the video as well. Awesome. That way, everybody yeah. can get to see that amazingness. So don't worry, people are definitely gonna get to see that. Yeah, awesome. for, for me, I, I just started building mocks. Uh, well, I've, so far I built myself as a brickhead. Amazing, brickhead brickheads are so like, fun. Uh, oh, I love brickheads. Yeah, that's another thing I really like too. And uh, again, I brought it to the school to show the kids. I have like, uh, my brickhead has like these lightsabers. So it's, he's kind of a Jedi. 
kind of thing going love on. Love it, love so, it. I'm like a general grievous Jedi. And oh it's, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, it, did you? It's really sick. Wait, I you, like that. So did much. you give yourself extra arms though? Yeah, I, yeah. I gave myself extra arms. So it's like it's like two right. uh, tables on each side. Android and, Travis, maybe like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, and he's wearing a suit like I did on the show. He's wearing the same. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah. it's very looking uh, fresh. Looking very fresh. Funny. But uh, I so love far, it. I'm getting into mocks now. Yeah, that's awesome, dear. And I can't wait to see what more you come up with. I'm sure we'll continue to get stuff out of you. So that's going to be yeah, fantastic. Uh, let's yeah, dive yeah. in and talk a little bit about your experience on the show. I think some people might be here curious about what your experience was like on Lego Masters. Yeah, they care. I don't, they care yeah, about there's that. There's a chance. There's a chance they might be interested. Um, <laughs> so what was it like being on the show? Like when you, when you, when someone first asks you, what was it like being on Lego Masters? What's the first thing that you say to people? Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a mind blowing experience. Mind blowing. Yeah. Trade it, wouldn't trade it for the world. Yeah. Know? Yeah, it was uh, definitely just getting on set, um, meeting everybody, meeting the judges, Will Arnett. It was just, uh, it was welcoming. In the beginning, it was a little intimidating, but it was welcoming to see everyone and how we just support each other yeah. and everything like that. It was just amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. So let's dive in and learn a little bit more about like your experience there. Um, so how did you guys enjoy like having access to so much lego was it overwhelming was it your childhood dream come true? did you get hard eyes when you saw it all what was what was that like and and maybe like what how was it maybe a little less crazy than we might think it would be because i know i've talked to some of the other guys and i had figured unlimited lego but it wasn't really unlimited was it <laughs> right right yeah, there's, there's gotta be there's a cap on it you know i i was uh as soon as I walked in, I said, it's like going to the Lego store and being told you can take any piece of it. <laughs> okay. And not, you don't got to pay for it. So, you know, so it's like, it's free. So that was like, my initial impression was just like, oh my gosh, what do I start? But yeah, there is a, there is a cap to it. There is a, uh, we didn't have every single piece that Lego creates, but, um, yeah. Yeah. but the pieces that we did have, it was, it was, uh, enabling us to create what we were able to do. So yeah. it worked. And for me, it was a little overwhelming in the, in okay. the beginning because yeah. it's, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm getting back into Lego. I've been, you know, studying and practicing. So it was like, I just wanted to, especially because we're in a competition, I want to be able to build to the best of my ability to know and to know what pieces work well and fast, you know? Yeah. So it took a lot. I, in the brick pit, I was studying the pieces okay. uh, yes. and just seeing where everything was and how I connected, how I connected to them and everything like that. And, you know, so it was, it, at first it was overwhelming, but then after a while, yeah. it gotcha, just gotcha. became fun. Ended up being a big learning yeah. experience for you too, right? So you get to yeah, explore definitely. and learn more and now you'll be able to apply that to all of your own building, which is fantastic. Um, how did you enjoy interacting with like the judges, the hosts? Um, obviously, Will Arnett, Lego Batman, pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. Jamie Amy, legendary among you know Lego yeah. fans with all of their amazing design sure. work. How did you guys enjoy that? Yeah. Uh, I thought they were gonna be. I mean, like, I mean, can you imagine trying to impress these guys, Jamie and Amy? Terrifying. They seen it all. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, how do we? Terrifying. But they didn't give off that vibe at all. It was like they wanted to see what we can do whatever level we're at you know what i mean how we can work as a team that's what they really wanted to see more than anything yeah it's how do we work as a team and so it was great they gave us great advice gave us great criticism we joked with them a little bit and so it was fun and and will arnett of course was just like you know will arnett you know he's, will I mean? arnett. Like, he's, he's been hilarious he's, super, he's been absolutely <laughs> hilarious i think he's brought a ton yeah. of personality and excitement i feel like you can like see the passion that he has for the whole just show and everything like that i felt like that was very apparent in last week when he was like when he hooked up manny or uh nestor with the phone yeah. call and everything like you could yeah. see the emotion like he's he became invested like he was very invested yeah. so yeah it, it was very it was a very apparent that he, he wasn't acting it, it wasn't just another gig for him yeah. this was something that he yeah. he was fully involved in he was fully embracing he, he's part of this lego community yeah and um you know that really came off and jamie and amy Man, I, I always use this uh, analogy. I felt like that we were the freshmen coming into high school and they were the seniors in high school. Okay, they, yeah. Pretty much was like, that, it was that type of dynamic that, you know, they gave us the criticism, but they also let us know like, hey, you know, we're all in the same, under the same umbrella. We're all here yeah. together. We're here to make this successful. So, you know, that's, that's beautiful. Vibe that's, that's a good, that's like, I, I like the way that you put that. And it, it, it's been awesome to continue to hear from everybody. Like, cause I think a lot of shows, like the judges become the bad guys quite quickly. 
Like you're like, oh, sure. why are they being so hard on them and stuff like that? And and I think sure. to be honest, that's what they've mostly shown us. They haven't shown a lot of the the support and encouragement yeah. that's come from them, but I keep hearing that it's happening. True. Uh, yeah, they're definitely yeah, pushing yeah, a little I, bit of the bad guy in general. And I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> it's TV, right? You gotta do that. Yeah, it's a, it's a competition. It's a competition, day, exactly. You know, so they gotta push people, you but. Bias or anything like that. Like they, they gave great criticism, but you know, it's all about how how it's perceived and stuff like that, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. But they're awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. everyone awesome. Amazing, amazing. Um, how did you guys, what was the experience like being on a set? Like, it's not every day you get to be part of a, you know, several week TV show and be on a set. Yeah. So what were some of the things that jumped out to, out to you about being on a set? The lights. The lights, okay, what about them? You're the, the lighting, first person to mention they, uh, them, so. Yeah, especially when things were like the last hour and everything just like, it really felt like the last hour. They really hour, make, like, it, make a big something, difference, you know? eh? Like in how they affect yeah, we had to pick up the pace. Yeah, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. So, Corey, was there something that it, had jumped out at you similarly, or? Yeah, for for me, it was it was the the pampering. Um, the pampering. I'm not used to being waited on uh, okay. at all, <laughs> or or being you are used to like someone following me and, and, and escorting me everywhere. So, yeah. Having that yeah. type of celebrity status and being uh, being told, oh, okay, we yeah, have the talent. He wants to do wants to yeah. go there or here. It's just like, wow, I'm just. I don't, sure. I don't see that, but that, that, thing, that was yeah. a yeah. shock to me. That's really yeah. cool. That's definitely not something I've heard I've heard of yet. So getting to hear that they had done a good job of catering to you guys and just yeah. feeling like a celebrity, you got a camera following you around. That's pretty cool. Who doesn't, uh, yeah, who doesn't, right? want, who doesn't like, want to feel like a celebrity, right? So that is <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. Um, yeah, yeah. How did you guys feel about the time limits on the show? I mean, um, was it, did it really severely impact? And I, and I hate to say it, but I think we did maybe get to see that a little bit in your last episode on the show that the time had definitely kind of caught up to you. Oh, How yeah. have you been strategizing maybe in earlier rounds and like what happened in that last round that had led to the unfortunate result that mm -hmm. it did? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can take, you can start this way. Okay, so um, <laughs> basically, uh, well, I think the time we, we definitely underestimate, you you underestimate the time in that room. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you're sitting down, because we, they, they designed it in such a way that you can't prepare. You know, even when we're building mocks, we, we have time to like kind of sit down, yeah. figure it out, what we're going to do. But with this, we had to literally do that while the time was ticking. While the clock right. was ticking, yeah. There was no pre-prepping yeah. or anything like that. No pre It was time start, great, here's your, you know, tablet and pen and start sketching, right? Yeah, that's yeah. it. So and, that, and was, that was the main mm -hmm. thing right there. Yeah, and literally we'll sit down, you know, we're talking about something. We look at the clock, okay, the time just started, let's say 15 hours. And then we look back at the clock, it's like 13 hours. And it's like, whoa, where did the time even go, you yeah. know? Yeah. So the time did definitely play a factor. Oh. Yeah, it was, and I can only imagine how intense it would be. I haven't done a lot of time to build. Um, I mm -hmm. do some challenges here and there, but I like, you know, 15 hours seems like such a long time, but it's like you said, once you kind of get some brainstorming started, yeah. start laying out some pieces, it, it's amazing how quickly that time can just yeah. vanish, right? And especially yeah. being in such a chaotic environment, seeing what other yeah. teams are doing, that all kind of just adds into the pressure, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Did you guys, um, and I feel like maybe Corey would be a little bit more familiar with this in general, but did you guys, do you mess around with any illegal techniques in your builds? Was that something you had played around or experimented with at all? Um, you know what? We didn't. We wanted to make sure that our builds were as true to the, the style of building as it could possibly be. Okay. Um, yeah. There were there were times that the thought crossed my mind, mm -hmm. but I think but I wanted it to, I wanted to be at my very best. Gotcha. And mm -hmm. I wanted to, to bring and bring my brother to that place as well, to where he's given his very best. Yeah. And we can walk away and say, hey, you know what? We gave it our all. Yeah. True. You know, we didn't cut corners. We didn't manipulate anything we gave it our best shot and, yeah. you know you know and we continue to grow we yeah. continue to learn exactly. so that was yeah. our whole, that was our whole mentality and, and for me i was trying to learn to build the right way when i i, I, st I was studying how to build and when i saw illegal i'm like i don't even know how to build like great yet so <laughs> i can't even dabble in the legal stuff if i wanted to you know yeah i got you just figuring out what, what yeah. the legal techniques are before you can start to play with the illegal yeah ones, right? then i can maybe do a little cheating you know? yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> the cheating will come later for sure 
You'll, you'll get there. You'll get there. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Um, and we got to see all of your builds, guys. Um, but I've noticed a lot throughout the show that there's been a lot that we didn't get to see with a lot of the builds. So from the okay. builds that we did get to see and such, um, what were some of the elements of those builds that we maybe missed out on that you guys were really proud of or excited about? And when, what would you highlight? Like, what are those what are those things that we didn't get to see? Okay. Uh, I can touch on the, the first build mm -hmm. that we did. Um, the first build that we did was the teacup ride. Yeah. And uh, the complexity of that teacup ride, it, 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 uh, I was I was the one that was mainly working on that. And I wanted to display my engineering technique yeah. and ability mm -hmm. with Lego. So my teacup ride, what they didn't really show on the show was how, how much spinning and how intricate it was. So I had a, a part of the ride that was on the top which was spinning clockwise, the bottom of it was spinning counterclockwise. Whoa. And the entire build itself was turning yeah. at a slow pace clockwise. Oh so man, I can't believe they didn't showcase that. Yeah, they, they yeah, showcase yeah. that. Heartbreaking. And I, and, I real, and I realized that that the scale is what is what really hurt me. Because if I did if I did it at the scale of the of the other titans that was surrounding us, then it would have been highlighted a lot more. But that gotcha. that right there, even Jamie mentioned uh the the intricate and the complexity of what i built yeah and that you know, that was yeah. something i was very proud of gotcha. and for me i'll touch on the second on the second yeah, um build that we did uh where we built a planet and that was kind of like my baby in a sense that the, the first one was his the second one was kind of mine because um what i wanted to show was my storytelling aspect yeah. so what we had was uh, which they didn't touch on obviously you know for whatever time constraint reasons but we had a story where the humans were coming to save the aliens. The aliens were working with the humans. The the core was um was erupting, so you see a lot of elements inside. You had a lot of minerals inside yeah. and everything like that. And then on top of that, we had a we we, you know, we had a spacecraft that when um Will Arnett dropped it, it was intact, like it was safe. Everybody was inside. Oh so wow! Like story, yeah, so the story was like completely came full circle. And oh, was that's awesome! Mm -hmm. So they didn't really, they didn't highlight on our storytelling aspect. Yeah, of the, the build, unfortunately, that's super cool. And I'm gonna yeah. be making sure I show as much of this as possible. I'm gonna find oh, yeah, whatever definitely. pictures you guys have, zoom in on them, find those details, make sure yeah, you get to see that goodness, yeah. so everybody yeah. will get to yeah. enjoy yeah. and appreciate just how beautiful those works of art are. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thanks, yeah. And then tell us a little bit about that last build. Maybe like if we could, if you could go back and do that one differently, how would we approach the law or the pinata? How would we approach it? Yeah. Um, quite honest, uh, if I wouldn't have picked the pinata, okay, I was go back. Um, that what, was not my. That was, was that something my, uh, you had like? Were one. you aiming for that originally, and then you realized it was a bad idea later? No. I, I was the one who was uh, originally okay. wanted it. Uh, I, I still would pick it. Like, uh, I, I know, because uh, we, we kind of talked about it when we were at the table, and I know, Corey, you wanted the um, the guitar. Yeah. And for me, the reason why I didn't want the guitar, because I thought, like, it would have been too obvious to make someone playing it, you know okay. what I mean? Yeah. And with the pinata, I think you can kind of play off of uh, horsepower, and that was my whole okay. image that I saw, yeah. you know? The, the only thing I would probably change is just... Um, uh, the, I guess the time, like, uh, like how we kind of approached it, you know okay. what I mean? Like we, yeah. I knew it was going to be a difficult build and I think I was just taking way too much time on maybe parts that wasn't really important. So okay. I feel like if we could do it again, I would say, let's do the whole thing first and then maybe do the minor details later, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I agree wholeheartedly. If, if it was the same parameters, we had to get the same exact item. Then yeah, if, if horsepower was going to be the thing, then we definitely would have uh, changed a few things. Um, we got we got a lot built on it, but it's just the the connection between the small space of studs that was on yeah. the actual pin and to the largeness of of the rest mm -hmm. of the car that we built. Um, you know, I definitely would have uh, I would have definitely changed a few items there. And Makes sense. Focused like I said, focused on the bigger stuff and then and then added the details time. later. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Well, it's tough, and and unfortunately, this was a lesson learned the hard way. Um, yeah, but, yeah. Hey, yeah. and, and I, honestly, I loved the builds. So if, for anyone who doesn't know, the, the guys here have been basically continuing on with building for the challenges, or as much based yeah. on as much as they know about them. Um, so they actually put together an amazing DeLorean build for the fourth episode, tying into the movie theme. You guys did a wonderful mm. job on that. So uh, I'll make sure everybody Thank gets you. to see that as well. And I think, did you guys put a YouTube video together on that too? 
Yes, we did. Okay. Uh, we actually have a YouTube channel, uh, awesome. Brothers Who Brick, same name on the show. Yeah. Uh, and Thursday morning, 8 a.m., we're going to, we'll, we'll post our, the challenge that was from the night before. Yeah. So whatever, the, the big city challenge, that's this week's challenge. Awesome. Thursday. Yeah. And, and Perfect. So the next happened. day, everybody can get to see that awesomeness. And I apologize, Absolutely. guys. I don't have that link handy in the chat, but uh, and you can find it through there. Like I know on Instagram, you have your YouTube link there, right? Yeah. So everybody can find Perfect. it through those there, guys. So make sure you go and find that awesomeness, okay? Amazing, amazing stuff. Um, what would you say is your biggest takeaway from being on the show? What was like your biggest highlight from it? Um, you know, what are you gonna remember most from the experience? What are those kinds of things for you guys? Uh, my, my biggest highlight is the fact that I was able to do this with my brother. Um, yeah, that was the biggest highlight for me. Um, I could have uh, I could have asked anybody that that's in my Lego circle to do this with me, and I I wanted to do this with my brother because I know. One, how much it would mean to him and his future, and also how much it would mean to my my our family. Our family is from the Caribbean, so they don't have no representation in the Lego community. Gotcha. And for us to yeah. be that representation for them, it, it it was it was bigger than it was bigger than the competition itself mm -hmm. for me. So that's awesome that you guys got to be able to do that. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. He gave such a great answer. I don't know how to follow up with that. You know? <laughs> That's like he read my mind. You know what I mean? You know, like, I feel like I've seen a little bit from both of you guys, like how much um, the the cast was a family. So maybe talk a little bit about yeah. that. Okay. Well, yeah. I think the biggest takeaway was for me, or well, one of the biggest outside of what Corey mentioned, is um, just our camaraderie with each other. I mean, when like for example, when Boone and Mark's build uh, for the first challenge didn't work. We all felt it like, and that was like, I never was crushed at saying, I wish, I wish my competitors <laughs> would like, you know, yeah, what I mean? no. like, you know, like, and it's, it's crazy. But like, I, I think I really loved how we were all supportive. I think ev everyone gave me advice on how to be a better builder, even awesome. how to be a better person yeah. in any area of my life. And so I think it was great just to connect with so much different people that I would never I would never walk up and talk to any one of them really like yeah. you know we we may not have the same kind of friends or maybe the same region where we live in so it's great that lego masters brought everyone together to share this awesome experience 100 percent, 100 percent. literally bringing people from all over the place and just showing yeah. the diversity of lego and what it means to different people and how it can be played with i think that's really cool to be showcased to just you know like because pretty much anybody could watch that show and go oh man i didn't think you know people like me were yeah. were playing with lego and having fun right there's just, just such a, yeah. an amazing cast and diverse cast so i think it's fantastic for people to get to see that and and hopefully and, I, and i'm sure you guys already experienced that a little bit with the, your recent experience at like bricks catch case and stuff seeing people kind of bring that excitement into their own lives and stuff like that and you know sure. be inspired by what lego masters is all about right yeah yeah, definitely. And a actually lot of, talk a, a lot little of, bit you know, about what was Bricks Cascade. So Bricks Cascade, guys, was a convention that happened in Portland, correct? Recently? Yeah. Excellent. Got that right. Good job, memory. Um, yeah. And you guys, uh, along with some of the other competitors from the show, got to go out there and, and like be featured. And, and so just tell us, tell us what was that? What was that like? Uh, so um, I was uh, present for that. So to be honest with you, 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 we weren't prepared for what kind of reaction we were going to receive. Okay. Uh, we we literally had people standing in line for almost two hours wow to to see us yeah to see the cast um and to sign sign autographs to take pictures um to hear the stories from the different parents of how this has become a family night oh, thing for them where man. they get to sit at the family and watch a show that's wholesome and, yeah and fun you know uh kids taking out their lego and they're building on the show to see if they can build the challenges as well that's like, so these cool are stories that we touched on uh while we we're in portland and portland just gave us so much love and we gave that love right back to portland it was such an amazing experience wouldn't it take it away that's that's so wonderful and honestly the, like some of the things you just threw out there like they hadn't even occurred to me that these would be things that like kids would be doing or thinking about so to just hear about all the different like ways that people are taking in this experience, whether it's family time, yeah. getting in creative on their own, doing challenges along with you guys, um, just so, yeah. so fun and so awesome to hear about that. It's so wonderful, wonderful stuff. Yeah. What advice now that you guys have, you know, competed in something like this, what advice might you throw out there to people or Lego builders or little, you know, general fans, whether they're really into it or just a little bit into Lego building, what kind of advice would you give them if they were thinking about maybe like applying for the show and getting into building, mm -hmm. what would you throw at them? Keep, keep on building. Keep on Just building. Keep on building. And keep and build big. Go, you know, go big or go home. 
you know like keep on pushing yourself and challenging yourself um because yeah you never know you might be on the show and with all that what you've done at home you can use you can utilize that for the bills that they have yeah so or the challenges so i mean i would say just keep on building keep on building. get your brick on would you would you be along the same lines Corey? what would you say uh i would say uh alongside building uh get used to having a camera in your face okay uh, you know do do blog do some vlogs uh you know showcase your work you know videotape it uh buy a inexpensive camera start a youtube channel take that thing uh, out of your pocket right <laughs> yeah yeah because that that's one thing like you could be able to build but if you're not used to a camera in front of you and you having to bring out your personality and willing to share a part of you to a, to the world then yeah. you're not gonna get you're not gonna get really far on this type of competition this type of uh, platform yeah. so yeah, definitely. At the end of the day, it's a TV show, right? And people want to be entertained. Yeah. They don't want to just see a Lego build. They want to know about the yeah. person who does it and, and connect yeah, with yeah. them, right? So it's an important come with, come, with, come with all the drama. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a all little that. bit of drama for that <laughs> TV, right? It's a different show. <laughs> yeah, maybe slightly different. <laughs> indeed, indeed. What's next for the brothers? Yeah, what's coming up with you guys? Anything else that you guys kind of have in the works? Are there any other shows you're going to soon? Anything like that? Uh, well, yeah, there's so there is a there's a Philly Brick Fest that's coming up in April. Beautiful. That's a, that's a show that we're gonna try to head uh, head to. Uh, it's very local for us. We're in Jersey. Perfect. Philly is uh, half step away. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of uh, different events coming up, especially with my brother um, being a cancer survivor. Um, and his story, our story, really resonated with a lot of kids. Awesome. Uh, kids who are currently doing chemotherapy. Yeah. So we're gonna try to work. Uh, with uh, cancer associations cool. to uh, make yeah. appearances, um, do big bills with them, mm -hmm. and, and just excuse me, encourage the kids and stuff like yeah. that, and um, you know, school visits and stuff. So um, awesome. that's what we're doing in the near future. We do have bigger plans in the in the uh, okay. in the long. So we don't want to we don't want to no yeah. want to spoil anything right now. Love it, love it. Yeah, we definitely have some some big stuff coming down the work. Awesome, and I will throw out there. Um, I actually do a lot of fundraising for St. Jude. I'm sure you guys are familiar with St. Oh, Jude Children's Research oh, Hospital. Yeah. I actually have, I got to go out last year to the hospital. I'm going to go again this year. So when, I, when I'm when okay. i there, I'll definitely mention that you guys are, you know, potentially interested in doing some stuff. And I'm sure they'd be very yeah. excited to work with some LEGO Masters competitors. So that'll be awesome. Definitely. Yeah, thumbs up on that. Yeah. Um, what are your favorite comic characters? I mean, I think we're obviously seeing that there's a little bit Ooh. of love for that in the background. So. Yeah. My, <laughs> oh, my all time. There it is. Hope my all Corey. time favorite character. Sorry, Cat, who's no that? Yeah, my all-time favorite character who gets no justice at all is Cyclops. Cyclops? Cyclops he does not yeah. get a lot of love. You were all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, since I, like, when I first, the first person, the first comic character I've ever drawn when I was, like, six years old was uh, Cyclops. <laughs> and yeah. as you can see, his favorite. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little bit of a taste of who his favorite is there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> loving it, Actually, loving it. Actually, this is not my favorite. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you just have some gloves of the Hulk because he's not your favorite <laughs> character. I mean, I would totally do that, the too. Hulk is the Hulk is my favorite for, for different reasons from what most people love the Hulk for. So well, and what's, give us a taste of that, then. What's the different reasons that you like him? So, for me, the Hulk resonates with me because of the fact that he's he's a beast and he's he's his rage is so wild but at the same time he's very scared he's very timid of his abilities yeah so because of that he's always contained in a shell of bruce banner and whenever he explodes out it's it's such a miraculous thing but then he always reverts back to that shell gotcha. that keeps him at bay yeah. And that that's always been me like i've always felt like i had that potential but yeah. i was so scared to just explode so I kept it bottled up. So that's why I always love the Hulk because he's able to just explode when need to and yeah. bottle back up. Boom. I love that. That is a very different answer, Spawn. Thank you for sharing that. That's fantastic. Uh, wasn't it a bit hard to build with the suits? You guys were pretty much rock suits throughout the whole show. <laughs> that's a good, that's what was that question. like on the set? Was it hot? Was it uncomfortable? It was hot. <laughs> It was hot, yeah. It was hot, yeah. Uh -oh. I, yeah, it, it was. It was. It was in our element, though. I mean, we kind of we do a lot of yeah. things in suits and stuff okay. like that. So it was more so in our element. But um, I knocked over a couple pieces, you know, <laughs> with the sleeves of my jackets and stuff. Yeah, so. keeping you restricted. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a fully committed person. So I said, 
when I was when we were getting ready to get on the show, I said, listen, this is the look I want. I want people to see how fashionable I am, how fly I am when I'm wearing my my, my threads. Yeah. And I wanted my brother to, to do the same. So I was like, you know what? This is the look I'm going for. So Ooh. I can build in this. I, I build in my suit all the time. Yeah. So it's, I, I made it. Pure commitment. Work. Pure commitment. And obviously being able to have a nice spot to show off the the Bregos True. is important, right? Yeah. Talk a little bit yeah. more about those. Like, how did you get started with uh, with the whole Bregos thing? Sure. So uh, a long time ago, uh, I had a, a friend gave me some Lego cufflinks, and I, I saw these Lego cufflinks. I thought it was so cool, and then I put it in my lapel slip in my uh, my suit. And a friend of mine said, "Hey, you know that looks really cool. You should you should you know you should do something like this." And I looked at it. I said, "Eh, you know, I'll think about it." And then I started getting into it like, all right, well, maybe I can make a run at this. Yeah. So about a year, two years, two and a half years ago, made my first. It was just a Lego heart, something that most people see all the time. And then I started getting into the floral, the round the round shape, uh, the different colors, uh, bigger designs. And it just took off. Yeah. And, you know, we're doing great. Sam's Brego is doing awesome. Awesome uh, here. We're looking to expand our, our catalog. Beautiful. Even more. It's great. Awesome yeah. to hear. Awesome. What's been one of your favorite designs of one of the Bregos? That's a me question, so I'm stealing the light here for a second. <laughs> okay. uh, my favorite design, uh, I could actually show you. Okay, boom, he's gonna grab it for us. He's gonna grab it for us. So, uh, my second favorite uh, character. Oh, snap, I love that, dude. I love oh, yeah. that, got him awesome. right on the lightning bolt there. Yep. That's so awesome. This, this right here would would sit right here. Yeah. So this was one of my favorite my favorite builds. Uh, this one I went to my first Comic Con. I wore this, and the amount of compliments I got from this was just. You must have been blushing. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yeah. I, 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 I felt awesome. like I arrived. Like, all right, I could I could be that Lego brooch guy. Yeah, like, hundred percent. Think of Lego brooch. They think of me. Yeah. Oh, that's you know, super that, dope. That's super duper dope. Yeah. And now through the show, millions know that. And I Indeed think that's they awesome do. Too. Indeed they do. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Love it. Love it. Well, guys, I think we're unfortunately going to be wrapping up here. It's been so, so much fun talking to you, though. I cannot thank you enough for joining me. I hope you guys have enjoyed chatting with us as well today. Um, and yeah. honestly, I'm just. Oh, man. Awesome. Yeah, I'm so excited to see the continued journey, your continued builds. Again, guys, keep an eye out on their socials because they're going to be posting builds from each challenge each week of their own, even though they're unfortunately no longer competing. Uh, so look forward to that. Anything else you guys wanted to say uh, to, our, to our lovely friends here? Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. This is a great, awesome experience. I'm glad I'm back into this Lego community and we're just going to. The sky's the limit now. So. I uh, just want to say, Nick, thank you for allowing us to be on your platform this uh, this evening. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I appreciate all the work that you do, all the different things that you're you're into. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of you. I was a fan of you from way back. So this is a this thank is kind of so like much. a team, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, to be interviewed by the guy, the man, Nick. We're both fangirling uh, over each other now. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bromance is heavy. The bromance is heavy. The bromance is heavy. Well, I hope I get to see you guys at one of the events this year. That would definitely be a big highlight. Um, and just thank you again.